Hi, I'm Ned from Garden Nature, and I'm going to show you how to use our free Nestera BirdCam app to watch your nesting birds inside your bird box. If you haven't already downloaded the app to your smartphone or tablet, you can find it by searching for Nestera BirdCam on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store, depending on whether you're using an iOS or Android device. Alternatively, you can find the app by simply scanning the relevant QR code in the instruction manual included with your bird box. When you open the app and you're logged into your account, you'll see a list of all the cameras you have paired with the app. Tap the camera you want to view. In this case, I've got the Wi-Fi camera paired with the app, but if you have the solar-powered battery camera paired with the app, then this camera will appear on the list instead. As you can see, we've put a couple of pretend birds in there for reference while we show you around the app. Along the top of the screen, you'll see this HD icon. This means the camera is shooting in high definition mode, but if you want, you can switch this to standard definition by tapping the HD and selecting SD instead. This stands for standard definition, and you'll notice the image quality isn't quite as high as it was on HD, but this setting does save some memory. If you're using the solar powered battery camera, you'll see the camera's battery level at the top. However, I'm using the Wi-Fi camera at the moment, which is plugged into the mains, so the battery level isn't present. If you're using the solar powered version and you ever notice the battery level getting low, you can either change the camera's resolution from HD to SD to use a bit less battery power, or you can simply remove the solar panel from its mount and take it inside to recharge it off the mains. The next icon to the right is the camera's sound. When you tap this, the sensitive microphone on the camera is activated. You'll be able to hear everything happening in the nest box. Obviously, I'm doing this demo indoors with an empty nest box, so there's nothing to be heard at the moment. The last icon on the top of the screen over on the right is the automatic zoom. Tapping this will give you a zoomed in or magnified view of the nest box. Simply tap it a second time to zoom back out. You can also zoom in and out manually by pinching the screen with two fingers as you normally would on your phone. Moving down to the bottom of the screen, this icon over on the left switches the view from portrait to landscape or full screen. If you're watching birds in the nest box and see something that you want to quickly take a picture of, simply tap this little camera icon here on the left. It will take a photo and automatically save it to your device's photo gallery. The camera has a two-way microphone which can be activated when you hold this microphone icon in the middle. However, if there are only birds in the nest box, we strongly recommend you don't use this function because your voice is likely to startle them and disturbing nesting birds is the last thing anyone wants to do. This next icon is the recording function. Tapping this will start the camera recording. Tapping it again will end the recording and automatically save the video to your phone. The two little up arrows icon over on the right brings up some more handy functions where you can select things like playback, where you can see footage from a specific moment on a certain day, the gallery, where you can view all the images and videos that you've saved, the theme colour lets you switch from light mode to dark mode, depending on your preference. The solar powered version also has a feature called private mode, which isn't on this list because we're using the other Wi-Fi camera for this demo. But tapping this button immediately stops the camera filming and stops anyone you've shared access with from viewing the camera. Night mode over on the right is where you can select whether the camera should shoot in day mode, which is full colour, or night mode, which uses the in invisible infrared LEDs to produce black and white images. However, we recommend selecting auto here, as this will let the camera's built-in light sense decide whether it should be shooting in night mode or not. The solar powered version has an additional option here called colour light mode which activates a white light at night time. If you're using the solar power version, we don't recommend using color light mode, as this will fill the nest box with bright white light and could possibly disturb any nesting birds in there. Again, the solar power version has a couple of additional features which aren't listed here, including device volume, which controls the volume of the microphone, as well as a function called siren. However, as I've mentioned a couple of times, if there are any birds in the nest box, we don't recommend you use the siren function, because this noise is loud and will definitely startle them. On the bottom of the screen, is messages, which is where any notifications about any movement detection are saved. This can also be set to send a notification to your phone or device to instantly alert you to any movement detected in the bird box. If we close this menu by tapping on the two little down arrows icon here on the right, and then tap the three dots in the top right hand corner, the app settings menu will appear. From here, you can see the device information and other basic settings including night vision mode, volume, and set the sensitivity of the motion detector as well as power management settings. This menu also includes storage and recording settings, plus the ability to share access to your camera with family and friends. In the detection settings, you can choose to have the camera start recording upon motion detection, where you can set the sensitivity level of the motion detector, or you can set a schedule, 
so the camera starts recording at a certain time every day. If you'd like to share access to your camera's feed with friends or family, simply scroll to the bottom of the menu and tap Share Device. Then at the bottom, tap Add Sharing. This will then give you the option to text or email a link to your camera to any contact on your phone. Whoever wants to view your camera's feed simply needs to follow the link they receive, download the free Nestera BirdCam app to their own device, and create their own account. They'll then be granted access to watch your bird box from their own device. If you need any further information, you can visit our website or you can email or call our friendly customer support team who'll be happy to help. If you need a hand setting up your Wi-Fi bird box camera system, you can click the link to our instructional video here. Thanks for watching.